Hydra. Um, total supply says infinite. I don't know if that's true or not. You Hydra holders would know that. I don't do research for charting a coin because it affects the, my charting. Uh, makes me more biased. Circulating supply of only 10 million and a low market cap of only 107 million. Low 24 hour trading volume though. Had an all time high of $51 back in April 3rd and an all time low of $1.39 February 21st. That's a 50x difference in a year. That's crazy. Almost. So what are we at right now? We're at $10 right now. If we do the max, looks like you had the big spike in April. And so that dollar was back here in January of 2021. Um, so with that, let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on Hydra. Leg up since the 24th of January. Look at all this support. There's like one, two, three. You have four main support levels now for this coin and some really small support channels but they're support channels nonetheless looks like you guys are trying to overtake your last resistance at 10 3 once we get up there uh we'll be blasting off it looks like it looks like the next next stop would most likely be 13 and then we'll be trying to overtake this previous high um you actually broke out of this downtrend i believe if we just do a trend line here real quick um or you're just about to so let me close this out and we'll zoom in a little bit closer yeah, you guys just broke out of this downtrend. Or if I just go top to bottom, you guys are just at it. So we need to get above 10.3. If we get off the 10.3, you've been in a downtrend since May, June 2021. And you guys are just now about to break out of it. This is really bullish. Um, the RSI did just bounce off the 50, but you had a huge spike up. It's heading up towards the 70. The 70 would bring it up to the $12 range. I'm going to draw a fib on this real quick. This is getting pretty interesting. Um, you guys finally broke out after almost a year. Um, looks like here you bounced off the 786 and you broke, these were resistance at the time and you broke through those. So now they're great support. Uh, you did, we are technically above this downtrend, but we need to validate that by getting over this resistance at 10.3 and holding uh, as soon as we get over that resistance, though, we're met with, with a 618 at 105. So it's kind of double resistance that you guys are heading towards, but I believe you guys can do it. If you overtake that, it's going to be great support. Uh, this, these both will flip into support for you guys. The downtrend will be invalid. Then you guys can start moving up in the bullish momentum. So best case scenario is we bust through this resistance, bust through the 618, and stop at the 5 at 11.9. So I'd say around 12 cents. Um, if we do that, there's a good chance we'll back test the 618. In which case, if that holds, then our next stop is moon. <laughs> By moon, I don't mean it's going absolutely crazy, but we're in uncharted bullish territory from there, and we can start assessing different resistance levels up on a higher level. As of right now, we're just doing the small short term. So we got to stay above this downtrend. You got to get above the 10.32. Worst case scenario is we get rejected at the support at 10.3 and fall back into this downtrend. Hopefully these supports hold. You have a support channel, a support channel, and a main support. So there's a good chance they would hold. But if they don't, you also have a 7.86 down here at 8.5. I don't think we've dropped any lower than that. You guys can see that you guys have had a lot of support and you've back tested it quite a few times and it's held so i don't think we drop any lower than 786 if it comes down here if we drop down there the rsi will be reset to around 35. so just keep an eye on the rsi um it's it's reset it's at 59 right now so it's not too bad you guys have peaked above 70 well that was in january the last one was september 2021 so you haven't peaked above 70 a lot it looks like you guys normally just tag the 70 then you get a retracement so just keep an eye on that a 70 would actually bring you up to around the 618 level since we are making a, sp a spike up there so we really need to break above the 70 if we get rejected from there we'll most likely go back down to the 50 which will be the support level um with that none of this is financial advice um just keep an eye on this. I, I hope you guys break out of this. You've been in a downtrend for so long. It'd be great to get some bullish news. You're just you're at it right now. You need to get above 10.3 and this 618. If you do that, I think this thing will start making an uptrend and we can start talking about higher upwards movements. With that, this is not financial advice. If there's any coins you'd like me to chart or if you'd just like to chat, please join my Discord channel. You'll find the link below in the description.